What's up, YouTube? For tonight's video, we have a full Sleep Talk rest team. All right, people, the meme is happening. So the joke was, with all the Pokemon I had with rest and Sleep Talk on my team, people started coming up with, like, I used one on every team, so we might as well make a team out of this. I did. I got six Pokemon and put them in one team, come up with some amazing sets, and had some pretty cool battles. Anyway, people, leave those same teams, as usual, in the comment section. Any feedback on the video would be awesome. Now, obviously, this team really encourage long, really long, long battles. So this is going to be one battle um, tonight, and I've got a bonus battle at the end too. So the battle itself was like 57 turns or something like that. It, I put all the other battles together, and it was like an hour-long video. So I thought that was a little bit too much. Let's get to this one. If you do want to battle me, that's in the description of the video. And um, this was a battle against Eckhart on my chat. So we have a Scolopede Lee. Actually, looks nice, shiny. It's going to use Iron Defense. So I thought Kamala would be perfect for this team, because... It kind of works around it because it's already asleep. So I can just use Sleep Talk because it's already uh, its ability is comatose, which means it already actually is asleep. So I can use three attacks off that and get some uh, damage off. That was probably the best Pokemon I had. Now, all the other Pokemon, I wanted to try and work around being asleep. My team was actually barely passive too, so I had to have some offensive mons like the Kamala. Anyway, so I'm going to hit by a rollout, so it's an Iron Defense rollout Scolopede. I've got to watch out for this one. Anyway, so it's going to go for another rollout on my Aerodactyl. The next, like, the next shot, I'm going down. Going for a roar on this one. So I had a strategy to set up rocks, and there was a little bit of phasing with a couple of my Pokemon. I will get into what this set was. So this was the Aerodactyl. This was an Aerodactyl. Best, <laughs> best explanation ever there, people. This was a max, uh, sorry, max health, max speed Aerodactyl. Stealth Rock, Roar, Rest, and Sleep Talk. Jolly Nature, Unnerveability with the Mental Herb, so if I got taunted, I could at least get off my rocks. That was pretty, um, you know, pretty good in this strategy. Had another Pokemon working with that, but we'll get to that in a second. So Skitty's going to come in, go for the assist, and it gets Body Slam out of all the moves. And I just live on 8 health. Thank goodness I can get paralyzed because that would have taken me out. And I get the rest off. So the idea with this Aerodactyl set, right, was to go to sleep. And once I'm asleep, right... Usually moves like Roar have negative priority, so you'd always go last. However, with Sleep Talk, that's actually not a negative priority move, so that can actually select Roar, and Roar will be then given like normal priority, and that will phase the opponent out and get hit by the Stealth Rock. So it worked fairly good. The only problem is I had Stealth Rock on the set, so it wasn't really that great. The the better Pokemon was actually in my coming up a little bit later on our team. This was more just a setup Pokemon for the strategy. The other Pokemon were all little different strategies too. So now we have King DDD coming in. It's going to wreck me with any type of water move. Um, I really wanted to get a Roar on this thing so I could just phase it out of the battle. This was also another reason why the battles were fairly long too. So I get uh, I don't get Sleep Talk Rest, but I get Sleep Talk Stealth Rock, which is equally as bad. Now, uh, King DDD is going to be able to... This is a... It, Aerodactyl's defense isn't too bad. So if it was a physical set, I was expecting like a two-hit KO. If it was a special set, I was expecting... Well, I was expecting a one-hit KO. So I get Sleep Talk Raw, which is good. I, I nearly, it, it's so funny because when I'm watching it really slowly, it comes up with Sleep Talk... It was Rest or Raw. So... Oh, it, was, it was quite entertaining actually doing this. So anyway, Scolopede's going to come in and take a lot of damage from Stealth Rocks. Uh, now it's going to go for the rollout again against my Aerodactyl. I really need to take this thing out. I needed to get this thing gone off the field. I'm going to wake up and go for the Raw because there was no point going back to sleep. Now, a lot of the times I really wanted to go to sleep and use Raw. So I, I tried to make it that each Pokemon you know, went to sleep at least once uh, to keep in with the strategy. Anyway, so we have Skitty coming in. It's going to go for the fake out against Aerodactyl. Not doing too much damage, but just a little bit of extra um, chip damage on Aerodactyl. Now it's going to... Uh, they can actually withdraw this Skitty. Good to see Skitty being used. And now we have uh, King DDD coming in. Now I almost went for another rest and uh, I actually went for the roar instead, which is going to roar out the Impolin. So the, the opponent was getting... All the people that I battled was absolutely... They were, they were infuriated and salty, which was, which was perfect because it was a nice change. Anyway, so Dunsparce comes out, which is a, a very interesting Pokemon. Now it's going to go for the Ancient Power, going for that uh, Green Grey Scummy Boost. Um, it's not going to do too much to my Aerodactyl, even though it's super effective. However, I'm just going to keep roaring this thing out and getting some extra damage. Now, this actually wasn't the best user of this on my team. I will, As I said, I will get to that one in a second. Now, Vikavolt's going to come in and take a lot of damage from Stealth Rock as well, which is, you know, that's another Bug-type Pokemon. I'm going to go for the rest here, because I'm thinking it's probably going to use any kind of Electric-type move. If it was Thunderbolt, I was going to go down to one hit, and um, since, I, since I go to sleep, I can actually get priority on that Roar again. So it was best off me doing that. It's going to be a physical set, and I live on 17 health. 
Man, that was really good. So I got some recoil damage on the Vicar Vault. It's funny because Aerodactyl was actually revealed nearly the entire team. So yeah, now I'm going to go for the Sleep Talk Rest. Uh, sorry, I mean Sleep Talk and get uh, Raw, hopefully. And I get Raw, so I'm like, guys, what, what, what's happening? I'm not, I'm not getting Sleep Talk Rest. What, what, why is it not happening? Anyway, so Manetric's going to come in here. It's going to get dragged out. A uh, little bit more damage from the Stealth Rock. Now, um, I can go for another Sleep Talk uh, Raw, hopefully, if I can get that. Now, we're going to have a Mega Manetric, so this is going to be a little bit of a problem. I'm hoping I can get uh, get like another couple of rounds of Raw on this thing. However, it's going to have the Intimidate, which is going to drop my attack. Doesn't matter, because I, I don't have any uh, physical attacks. Anyway, Thunder Fang misses! What? And that was so crazy, because that was on the exact turn that it needed to hit me. I'm going to go for the Sleep Talk here, and, and, and I get rest. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. That was such an important turn. If I'd only got that. Uh, now it's going to go for the Ice Fang. I was, was low-key hoping for it to miss again. However, the big, bad, bustling Aerodactyl is going to go down. But that was pretty good. Like That was that revealed the entire team. So swapping in Kamala. There's Kamala. was a max health, max attack set. I thought it worked really... I kind of had to use it for this, this theme team. It just uh, suited it. So it's got Payback, Thrash, and Earthquake with the Agwave Berry and Adamant Nature. Max health, max attack. So what Sleep Dog does, it'll randomly choose a move from Kamala's, you know, move pool that I've given it. I thought Payback, Thrash, and Earthquake were nice, uh, just nice moves on it. And Thrash was really nice because it was stab and it was high base power. Earthquake, for, you know, you hit ground types and steel types and things like that. Payback, because it always mostly goes second and it can hit Ghost. Alright, so now King DD is going to come in here. It's going to be able to resist my Thrash, which I love, I love its animation. Like it spins around on this little barrel. It's so cool. Um, it's going to be a physical Empoleon. Doing pretty good damage to me, just missing the range of my Agwave Berry, unfortunately. Now, I can either... I was really hoping to actually snap out a Confusion and uh, go for the Earthquake with the Sleep Talk, but that didn't happen. I'm going to have... Uh, Thrash actually goes from, like, two to three turns. So, you can get... Oh, it's like Outrage, right? You can use it, um, like, two turns in a row, then get Confusion, or you can use it the full three turns, and, yeah... Then you get confused. So, unfortunately, that didn't happen for me, and the Kamala goes down. But that's all good. I'm, I'm, I'm going all right. Actually, I'm actually losing this battle at the moment, but I've revealed the whole team. So, that's going to count for something, right? So, now swapping in Letty. And now, this is a pretty fun strategy, too. This was... I sped this part up a lot. So, this was a, a sweeping... A sweeping power up punch acrobatics let in. Now, let in gets the ability early bird, which actually wakes it up from rest one turn earlier. So that means I only have to go for the sleep talk once. Then I can wake up. No, like double rests in a row. So the idea with this one is to get the enough power up punches up, use up my figgy berry, which is holding. Then I can freely go for the acrobatics powered up. Um, so I'm not holding an item. Um, the idea with this one is it didn't really hit very hard. Um, <laughs> the problem was I didn't have Iron Fist either, so Power Up Punch was like doing donkeys, so I really needed, almost needed plus six on this thing. Um, this was running max speed and max health. Anyway, so uh, the Empoleon is going to have Steel Wing, a nice move, I like that, and Waterfall. I was worried about Aqua Jet the whole time, but they actually saved it right till last when I was going to go for the rest, and that's my Lillian down, so it's Salt. So these things are actually not looking very good at the moment. I've got to get back into this game. I've got one really big player left on my team that actually benefits a lot from the Stealth Rock, but I didn't want to bring them in quite at the moment. So now I'm bringing in Volbeat. Um, I thought Letty and Volbeat were pretty fun on the same team. So uh, this Volbeat was a special sweeper with Rest and Sleep Talk 2 and Prankster. So the idea was I could get the Tail Glow up right, and then after I got those Tail Glows up, Rest and Sleep Talk would give me all the Pranks to attack. So I could go to sleep, go Sleep Talk, and get the Pranks to Silver Wind off. So that was my attacking move. And maybe I could get a boost in my stats. This also had a Wiku Berry, Modest Nature, Max Health, uh, Max Special Attack. These were such fun sets. Anyway, so now the Impolin's going to go for a Steel Wing, and it gets a Defense Boost. It actually has a 10% uh, chance to do that. Um, just a lot of the time, you, you can't miss with Steel Wing, though, so I think they've landed nearly every one. Anyway, so I'm going to have to go for another Silver Wing to take this thing out since it resists it. And uh, uh, it lives on one health! No! T-shirts coming soon, people. Anyway, so Apollo's going to go for the Waterfall again. So I'm like, hmm, this is interesting. At least it activated my berry. Now, the good thing about it had... I know that it had Aqua Jet, right? However, I had Prankster too, so that was priority, which is good. So now uh, King DD is going to have a little bit of recovery from leftovers. Silverwind's going to be able to take it out. Um, Aqua, Aqua Jet's definitely not going to take me out, so I just went for another Silverwind. 
hoping to get another, uh, like, a, a boost at all. Anyway, so the uh, Impolin's going to go down. That's good. Finally getting that out of the way. It took, like, forever. So now we have the Scolopede coming in. So one rollout is pretty much going to send my Volbeat to the moon. I've got to get rid of this thing. It's going to get uh, some extra damage from the Stealth Rocks. I can go for the Silwind or the rest there. However, it's going to outspeed me and get that Mega Horn off. It lands in Volt. Man, that that was savage. Volbeat is down. So poor Volbeat. Now... It's time, people, for the key player on my team. So this was my Aerodactyl Garchomp combination. This was actually really trolly and scary. So now Megahorn is going to miss. Garchomp is going to go for the Dragon Tail, which doesn't miss, which is nice. So let me explain this Garchomp. This was a jolly Garchomp, max speed, max health. Rust Skin and Rocky Helmet just for some, uh, you know, if I get hit by a physical attack, it gets some extra damage. I've got Rest, Sleep, Talk, Dragon Tail, and Raw. So the idea was here, I just heal myself up. Get that priority sleep talk, Dragon Tail and Raw. So since I had Dragon Tail and Raw right, I could that was two moves that would phase really, really nicely and just phase through the entire team. It was a better version of the Aerodactyl. The Aerodactyl really was there just to set up the rocks. Maybe get some, you know, lucky Raws. Um, the problem is I had Stealth Rock on its set, so it wasn't effective as the Garchomp. Plus, the Garchomp overall was more bulky too. Anyway, so Vikavolt's going to come in. I think that was a Z dig. I'm not sure. Uh, going for the Raw, and that's Vikavolt out of here. Now we have the Skitty coming in. Skitty really can't do too much to me. I mean, it can do a little bit of damage. Unless it got a critical hit, that was the only thing I was worried about. Um, it's also, I've got the Rough Skin and the Rocky Helmet. So now it's going to go for the Fake Out. The, the funny thing is, Rough Skin and Rocky Helmet are actually going to do more than the Fake Out did to me, which is uh, quite funny. So now it can either go for, I'm not sure what this other physical move, it might have Sucker Punch, I wasn't sure, it can carry a lot of things. So I'm going to outspeed it anyway and go through the rest and be like a complete salt machine and that's going to uh, get all my health back. So now I can once again go for the priority um, Dragon Tail and, and uh, Raw. So I, I just like the fact that you get the priority. It's going to have assist and it gets rest. What, what are the chances on the wrestling talk team? No way. So the Skitty's going to go to sleep. It's just, it's, which is just so appropriate for this team. I can't believe it. So it's going to get all its health back. Now I can either go for, I, I can just go for the sleep talk I can, or I can just like wait and save my sleep talks. The only problem with this set, right, I had Aerodactyl or Gartrop really working hard against so many teams. But the, uh, the, the Dragon Tail missed there, by the way. Never saw that one coming. The, uh, the PP on Sleep Talk, once that was gone, right, I was pretty much gone. Like, I had to, if I went, wanted to go to sleep, then I had, like, no way I could get uh, recovery off or any hits. So I'd probably go down to, like, you know, ice moves and stuff. So going for, anyway, going for the Sleep Talk and Raw, which I get. Nice. Uh, sorry, I just went. I think I just went for the straight raw. And uh, Dunsparce is going to be dragged out. Now, Dunsparce can have a lot of a big range of moves, so I was a little bit scared of this thing. However, I had to speed this one up because it went for ages. So going for another rest, sleep, talk, raw. Uh, the Skitty's going to come out again. It's going to be asleep. I'm going to go for Dragon Tail. That's going to take it out again. Vikavolt's going to come in, and it lives on one health. It's going to go for a next scissor. I'm going to get the rough skin and the rocky helmet. Vikavolt is down. Dragon Tail misses. Now we have Catnit coming in again. Uh, did I say cat tit? Anyway, so the uh, Skitty's going to go for the assist. It gets a waterfall. What? I don't get flinches. It's good. Dragon Tail misses. Assist is going to land again. Acrobatics lands, baby. Garchomp is nearly down. I, I almost I almost died to a Skitty. Anyway, so Dunsparce, the final Pokemon, is going to come in. Now it's going to go for a body stamp. I get paralyzed. No. And the rough skin and the rocky helmet are everywhere. And uh, Dunsparce is going to eat a freaking berry. Dragon Tail lands. Since it's the last Pokemon, it's not going to get phased out. And it's going to hit me with a... Uh, Ancient power boost, and it's going to get all the boosts in the world. Uh-oh, this this is where things are getting bad. So it's going to go for another ancient power boost, considering it's going to outspeed me with that plus one. The final Pokemon is Dragonite. So this was my rest sleep talk. <laughs> Toxic and Rap Set with Binding Band. Now, what Binding Band does, it increases the damage per turn use, uh, like a uh, like a binding move, like Rap. So it does more damage uh, at the end stage. So I've got Toxic, Rap, Rest, and Sleep Talk, Calm Nature, Max Health, Max special defense. I was going to go for a... Um, I thought it actually might outspeed me then, so that's why I went for the rest. Even if I went for a, a rat before, it would not have taken it out. It would have got the rest off beforehand. It's too bulky. Okay, so it's going to have rest as well. Of course, it's got rest on a rest sleep talk team. I've got that little uh, pink purple snake happening. The problem was I couldn't actually toxic it. So it's going to get some more damage from those wraps. It's going to go for more ancient powers. It gets... How many boosts is this thing going to get? So I'm going to get another rest off on Dragonite. My only hope here is to take it out with wrap, which is saying so. You're pretty desperate if you're hoping to get a Pokemon with wrap. Anyway, so I got the toxic off on the Dunsparce. Ancient power is going to land again. It's going to be super effective, breaking my multi-scale. However... I get rest, sleep, talk. 
and it gets a rest off. No. And then I'm going to get, I'm going to wake up and, and misclick and get sleep talk rest. Dunsparce is going to get hit by another rap and uh, Dunsparce is going to use sleep talk rest and get body slammed this time, which paralyzes me and does a crap load of damage. Now it's going to wake up, go for another ancient power boost and get another boost. And then I got paralyzed. And then another rap. And then I'm going to go down to the Dunsparce. I'm so salty. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, just watch the damn bloopers. I'm so salty.